time was 14,308. The gate was 1.651 million. So let me let me explain this. Uh, the fight of the night was Trujillo versus Varner. Those guys are going to win seventy-five thousand dollars each. Knockout of the night is Trujillo. He wins another fifty thousand dollars. So congratulations to them. They both deserve it. Fought one of the sickest fights ever. Congratulations to both of those guys. I felt no pressure at all. I was even happier for this all. My teammate winning the fight. So I enjoy fighting. I enjoy myself when in the octagon. So there's no pressure at all. You know, that's the job I love. You know, I keep on fighting. Keep on winning fights. Uh, I am sick of the weight cut, but I also was sick of fighting with you guys at 45. So that's why I did the weight cut. I, I'm going to stay at 135. So there are some some big fights. You know, I, I have to. I mean, this has been a hectic year. It's been just kind of a whirlwind. You know, five fights in 11 months. It's, it's just all the stuff I was doing. Um, let's hear what these guys have for me now. I, I would like to do some fights that are interesting. You know, and uh, I feel like I am getting better. My body feels great. And uh, I don't know. I don't want to go to 45s permanently, but if there's like some, something that you want to see, I might do that. Yeah, I'm on Hannah Morrell. You uh, were favorite fight, being a quick stoppage. I've been talking about Henry Morrell for months. And I'm going to say it again tonight. The kid is unbelievable. He keeps looking better and better. He's a finisher. He comes out. Uriah Faber's been on a tear. We, we know what Uriah's done in the last year. And this comes out. This kid, every time this kid fights, he looks better and better and better. And he's a finisher. And I just think, I just think this kid is one of the best in the world. Period. Pound for pound. Etc. I think it's a victory. I think we also have to give it to our adversary, Ricardo. É um grande oponente, fez por merecer é, a disputa do cinturão, então para mim a luta foi dura, ele fez uma estratégia de lutar cinco rounds, então eu estava lutando conforme a, a gente ia, ia jogando. Então eu fiz uma estratégia boa, estava tranquilo, estava confiante, sabia que, que decorrer da luta ia ganhar tranquilo. I should have been 
playing my game a little more and, and looking for the takedowns in the later rounds. Uh, but it, it was just stubbornness that got in the way. So uh, I think next time I, I got to stick to uh, my game a little bit. Well, we broke a record tonight that I'm not very proud of. You know, the most decisions ever in UFC history. That's not one you're going to hear me bragging about at press conferences. But uh, I would have to say I, I was pumped with the first fight of the night. You know, it was awesome. You know, those two went out there, and uh, that was just such a great fight. So, I mean, if you want to ask what I was I wasn't pumped about our record tonight, but that's I don't have a game plan. I just come in here just, just to fight. I don't fight to the decision. I fight to finish. And uh, in the post that we got from you after, it sounds like you called out Cowboy or Nate Diaz. Why are those two fights that you're interested in? I wasn't necessarily calling them out. I was just, she asked me who I like to fight. So I just threw a couple names out there. I just want to fight the better guys in the division. Just get closer to the belt. Two names just popped in my head at the time. No disrespect, but you know, I just, just came up. What you do is you look at uh, who you're fighting and you adjust. I mean, obviously, uh, Rock was uh, one of the last big guys. Well, big for this big two, by the way. So then when you're fighting these big guys, obviously, you want to be a little bit bigger. You want to back with more muscle. But uh, if I look at the top of the division, K240, might even drop a little more, but I'm, I'm, I'm big. I think if I drop too much, it's not going to be good. And uh, last week for Ricardo, um, there's some uh, couple of crazy moments in the fight. I think at one point you had him up against the uh, fence only, feet off, feet off the ground. Uh, also, I believe uh, last uh, two minutes, uh, it was just uh, you know the sort of thing that all the fans want to see when when somebody is behind uh, to see a fighter, you know, find it in their heart to fight to the very last second. Uh, and, and, and put in a major effort, uh, you know, what can you say about that? Back and, and uh, 
he, he is 100% confident that he's coming back. But, you know, who he's going to fight still? I mean, the landscape changes so much in this sport because he probably won't fight until the end of the year. If everything goes the way that it should, he should be fighting in pretty much the same fight he fought in last year, uh, you know, this last year. Um, so we'll see how it goes and what's going on then. And then I'm a Patriots fan, so I, I don't have a dog in the fight tomorrow, but I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Peyton Manning win, a, you know, win the Super Bowl. I'm not bitter like a lot of other New England fans.